okay, let's introduce you. Let me introduce you our academic staff. Uh, as I said, we have three fields uh, in uh, this field, written field. Uh, we have two uh, instructors, as you see here, and one research assistant. Uh, in design and culture field, uh, we have five uh, instructors and we have a research assistant you see here. And in environmental technologies field, uh, we have again five instructors and two research assistants. Okay, let me introduce you the fields in more detail. Uh, the written field, uh, I will uh, tell it, call it written. I will not tell the full name always. Uh, it focuses on the theory and practice of adaptive reuse. And the main aim is to bring a wide perspective on adaptive reuse. Students of this module are expected to specialize in the history and structural properties of built environments, the principles, of, uh, the principles and methods of adaptive reuse in addition to the solutions of the problems of adaptive reuse. Uh, here you see some of the research topics. Of course, these are not all. Uh, for example, remodeling of historical stratification, adaptive reuse and abandonment, improving the sustainability and energy performance of existing historical buildings, cultural and historical sustainability, contemporary interventions in historical buildings, and so on. Okay, these are the courses that uh, uh, this uh, track uh, offers. Uh, current topics is the compulsory course for all uh, tracks. Research methods and ethics is also. Uh, but uh, other than those, we have elective courses from which you can uh, choose um, intervention and modification, interior design and architectural conservation, history and theory of adaptive reuse. Uh, and interior design workshop is a common elective course for all fields. Uh, and what kind of theses are produced under these fields? Here you can see uh, reverse chronologically what has been produced. Let me just read some of them, uh, the very recent ones. For example, in 2021, uh, Zumkarada uh, wrote a thesis on tem temporary interventions as an alternative adaptive reuse tool. Or in 2020, uh, we had a thesis entitled Adaptive Reuse of Silo Buildings with contemporary approaches or adaptive reuse potentials of historical buildings in Nigeria, case study of two abandoned vernacular palaces. Uh, and you'll see the other uh, thesis produced under, these, under this field. Okay, uh, design and culture track focuses on both the theoretical foundations of interior architecture practices and the synthesis of theoretical and practical knowledge through the studio courses. Students of this track are expected to specialize in housing, spatial history, space typologies, modern interiors, and socio-spatial cultural, uh, socio cultural representations in literature or cinema. And here you see we have uh, quite a lot of research topics. Uh, we have some subtracks even under this track. Uh, so these are design history in Turkey. Uh, let me exemplify some of the uh, topics. Uh, history of interiors. Sorry. History of interiors. Uh, interior uh, design movements, contemporary Turkish designers, etc. Uh, under design education, we have integrated design approach in interior architecture education, or under perception, we have shaping interiors, uh, user perception uh, issues. Under housing and culture, uh, we discuss about immigration and housing. We work on immigration and housing. Uh, we have a subject of healthcare interiors. Uh, we also work on interior typologies, such as accommodation buildings, or education buildings, or child-friendly spaces like kindergartens, primary schools, etc. Uh, we work on fictional spaces or cinematic spaces, or other topics cover uh, issues such as urban interiors, interior landscape, or representation techniques in interior architecture. 
Um, here you see the elective courses. Again, we have these two compulsory courses, but other than that, um, we offer user perception in interiors, literary space analysis, cinema and design, home culture and design, architectural culture and interiors in Izmir, Temporary theories in architecture. Uh, these are architecture courses, these two. Spatial practices. And again, the common course interior design workshop. Uh, let me give some examples from the recently produced uh, thesis. Uh, facade as urban, architectural, and interior element. Interpretation of tangible and intangible values in Izmir Karshak apartment blocks between the periods of uh, 1950 and 1980, or spatial constructions of identity, Anatolian Tatage communities, or analysis of post-disaster emergency housing projects in terms of interior space quality parameters. And uh, these are some of the theses produced. Let me show you some more. So this is reverse chronological. You can have a look at that. Okay, and uh, thesis, uh, the other thesis uh, in the first years of our programs. Okay, and uh, the third track, uh, environmental technologies track, includes theoretical knowledge on energy efficient building design and the application of this knowledge to architectural design projects. Students are expected to specialize in energy efficient building design methods bioclimatic design, passive solar architecture, and life cycle cost analysis. Uh, here you see some of the research topics, uh, such as energy efficiency optimization interior design strategies, indoor environment control measures in design studios, uh, methods to improve indoor air quality, or um, sustainable evaluation of building models, healthy buildings, um, or about lighting, the role of artificial light sources in color perception, effects of light and lighting on human psychology, uh, et cetera. Um, so these are the courses. Again, we have the same compulsory courses. And the other courses are interior life cycle, advanced lighting design, advanced lighting research, healthy buildings and indoor environments, indoor comfort management, introduction to indoor environmental quality. Uh, and again, we have the common elective course, which is interior design workshop. And these are some of the theses. Uh, the last one produced under this track is uh, wind driven course ventilation design and stimulations for a naturally ventilated classroom wind driven cross ventilation uh, design. And the other one, evaluation of sustainability of high-rise buildings in Izmir, Mistral Towers. Or the other one is the effect of micro in indoor uh, car uh, carbon dioxide level, an experiment in an office of Yashar University. And you see the other thesis as well here. 